Welcome to Dr. Deborah Shelley's Human Anatomy Tutorial. I'm your host, Rachel, and in this video, we'll be going over the muscles in the thigh. So we're gonna start with gluteus maximus, which is gonna allow you to extend your thigh. Then we have gluteus medius underneath it. This will allow you to abduct your thigh. Gluteus minimus is also under gluteus medius, but this model, you can't see it. It, is, it has the same function as medius though, and so it will also let you abduct your thigh. Then we have the tensor fasciae latte right here. And when this contracts, it will abduct your thigh, but also it will pull on this long, flat ligament and it will help you lock your knee. So it's, it has a supportive function for the knee as well. Then we have the sartorius muscle. Commonly, it's known as the Taylor muscle. Tailors used to sit cross-legged and sew very late at night, so that's where it comes from, because when you flex this muscle, it's gonna let you flex and abduct your leg, which is below the knee, and then on the thigh, it's going to let you flex and laterally rotate it, which if you do that on both of your legs, will make you sit down um, cross-legged. So this is pectineus, and it's gonna let you adduct your thigh and flex it. Then we have adductor longus, which is gonna allow you to, as the name suggests, adduct your thigh and also flex. Then right here, we have gracilis, which is going to allow you to adduct your thigh. Then this is adductor magnus, and it's going to allow you to adduct your thigh, extend, and flex it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the muscles in the thigh. 